What's up, Call of Duty fans? Spenrath here, bringing you guys the 53-0 gameplay that I've been talking about for three days. It's taken me a while to put out. I'm new to uh, YouTube. I'm new to editing, and, and um, all excuses aside. All right, you see, I can use the. I'm using the smoke grenade domination gameplay. I don't know why they're not on B right now. Usually, that is mayhem on B right there. So obviously, I'm not playing against the best players in the world. Um, but right here, you can see I utilize the stock attachment, which I think is the best attachment in the game. Uh, necessary on SMGs, which people think uh, maybe not so much, but I think it makes you win gun battles. But uh, yeah, so obviously I wouldn't be going 53 and 0 in uh, against the uh, the best players in the world. But um, I I'm going to be uploading gameplays where you know I play against really good players, and maybe I don't have the best kill death ratio in the world, but I get that win because I'm all about getting the win. Nice long range kill right there with the weevil for me. Um, but you can see I'm running only two attachments on the Weevil, which in my opinion is the best submachine gun in the game. Um, I do love the submachine guns in this game, but, uh, the, I, they, like, you know, 50, 50 in the mag, with, and I run it with extended mags and stock, so I got 70 bullets in the magazine, so I barely ever have to reload when I'm in their spawn like this. Uh, right there I could have glitched, uh, which is the specialist I'm using to send me back, but I knew I had teammates behind me, I was putting a lot of faith in them because at this point in the match I don't know I'm gonna be going 53 and 0 or whatever I'm just trying to I'm trying to win the match I'm trying to control the map um, uh, here's the Hellstorm missile streak uh, it's so weak when you use it in the air to blow up into the tiny missile so sometimes I just use it as a predator missile and drop that straight down on people but here I'm pre-aiming keep firing um, that guy should not be right in line with his clone but he's not the best player in the world obviously um, uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm able to pre-aim um, with with stock, which I, I I fell in love with stock. And he, obviously, my teammate there calls in the hater, which uh, really contributed to my to my success in this match because I can see that this guy's coming. It's probably the strongest kill streak in the game, just knowing where the enemy is, uh, except for the fact that it can be shot down this time around, which I think is totally fair because I think there should be a counter for everything in Call of Duty. There should be, you should be able to use something, and somebody should be able to take that away from you. Uh, um, but if it's a hard, it's a higher streak, it should be you know, harder to take away. But uh, but yeah, so here right now, I'm I'm running. Uh, I was low level, so uh, you know I have a, um, I don't have a wild cards or anything, so I have a frag grenade with me. I don't even think I use it once. Um, but I definitely run smoke and domination every in every class uh, I play. I think I switched out the frag later for the rocket launch, the free fire rocket launcher on, on your back. So why not shoot some people on B? But uh, that's not what I'm doing in this video. I got the frag and it's doing nothing. But all I'm doing in this video is is really killing them in the spawn. I, I call in the hellstorm. Um, ends up getting the double. It didn't even hurt that other guy. Um, but yeah. Basically, I'm running back and forth. I'm not getting even getting on the objective, and I am an objective player. Uh, you wouldn't be able to tell by this gameplay, but uh, I am doing my role of not letting them come down this one side of the map because that's what uh, my teammates were talking about in this. Almost died there, but I run fast hands uh, so I can pick up enemy weapons uh, much quicker. So that's why I do that, and you know, faster aiming from the hip after sprinting is uh, is probably my my go-to perk is fast hands in the green. Um, I, although I love awareness, uh, tactical mask in the in the red. Just so you you can't get affected by shock charges, flashbangs, uh, stuff like that, and uh, flak jacket and ghost for uh, for the first tier. But uh, yeah, right here I'm just playing it safe. Uh, I'm sprint right here. I do not go in there because that there's a there is all of them in back there right now. So I ended up kind of kill stealing that kill right there from my teammate. But uh, I'm not trying to jump the gun right now. I know I'm on a streak. I don't know I don't know what my streak is. I'm not aware of what my streak is at this point. But I'm just I'm just trying to hold it down. I end up switching to this uh, this guy's Vesper I picked up. And running right in front of him right there when he had an Annihilator might not have been the best idea. But I get away with it. Um, yeah, but usually, you know, you play some domination matches on this map and they're just it's just a hectic, constant battle at, at the B flag. And, and this well, finally one guy goes for the B flag on their team and I drop a Hellstorm and get a double on B like that. So... <laughs> They're probably really discouraged. I, uh, I haven't even paid attention if someone's left the match or not. Uh, but, uh, yeah, obviously the round goes to 100 until the halftime, so I'm not going to call in the talent. But, uh, actually, I did record this gameplay, and it, my PlayStation didn't record it. So, the footage you're seeing right now is theater mode. That's why uh, you're looking at this right now. But, thankfully, there's theater mode in this, and Black Ops 3. Thank you, Treyarch, uh... 
for putting that in there. And uh, I just, like, if without it, I would have lost this gameplay, which is a 53-0. and 0, So, we're probably one of the highest flawlesses out there right now. Um... Yeah, back to the back to my tactics. I throw a smoke grenade just because I thought they might rush that way, and that might make them hesitate on the side there to, to, to rush through smoke. People usually don't want to rush through smoke. People usually stand back and just wait to see what happens. The smoke grenade is probably the best tactical in the game. I run that uh, to throw it on the objective. I throw it past the objective. I throw it in areas where I know that they're going to be rushing me, and I just throw down the smoke, and then I'm basically like a ninja in the smoke. It's, it's the best. And then I use my jetpack to jump over the, the smoke sometimes. It's... It's an amazing attack, uh, amazing tactical. Um, these guys. Now I'm just now at, I'm at the point where I just feel bad for them, but uh, I'm killing them in the spawn. They're constantly switching the, the squad, switching to the other side. But yeah, I got nothing but good things to say about the Weevil. Uh, I'm obviously going to be trying to experiment with all the guns um, in this game, but I'm doing a bad job of that right now because I have about 3,000 kills with the Weevil. Nice double through the smoke there for me. 3,000 kills with the Weevil, or a little bit or over 3,000, and then my next highest is probably like, like 500 or something like that. So I'm not doing a good job of uh, using anything but the Weevil, but I, I usually run overkill on my classes. Uh, I'm I'm not doing that right now at a low level, which freed up the attachments for me. And that's why I started experimenting with stock, and I can't recommend stock enough on, on some machine guns or probably any gun. Uh, but usually I run it on the submachine gun because you can be more mobile and uh, in people's faces and dodge bullets and then uh, I usually run overkill where, and then I switch to an assault rifle or LMG where I can sit back and then I, I don't need stock for that situation so I usually use an optic or a long barrel or something like that but uh but yeah um, at this point I'm really trying not to die, except for running in the middle of three guys like that. It's kind of dangerous, so obviously I glitch back, which is the first time I even used my special ability. Um, which was kind of dangerous for me to do there, but that was a good, that was a good, very good time, necessary time to use glitch to send me back. Right now I'm just trying to be patient, I'm trying to pick up my second nuclear. And I'm not even going for the cap. Uh, I'm basically racing to go to the other side because I know they're spawning at sea. And then there's a guy, a, there's a guy right here, stranglers. They, they kind of spawn in weird places when you get all the flags. I don't, I don't even know. I would like to test that out. I don't even know where people spawn when you have all the flags. That is a weird this, this, the definition of domination. Nice two piece there, which I'm able to do with the weevil. I feel like the weevil, you know, the reason why it's so good is. That was bad. That was bad right there. I tried to pick up someone's weapon and it entered me into my manual control talent. That would have been, I would have been choked if I died there. But the reason why the weave is so good is uh, you don't need to waste an attachment on uh, full grip to make it uh, more accurate, where you might need to do that with the VMP, which I, I like the VMP a lot. Uh, you don't need to put a uh, long barrel on it um, because, although it is um, beneficial, um, it basically just helps out at the long range kills, which you're trying to avoid. Get in, you're trying to get in their face anyway. Uh, you can avoid putting, um, well, I guess, no, quick draw is really good on it, uh, because it is one of the slower aiming SMGs, but then it is an SMG, so it's still aims faster than all the assault rifles, but, um, that was a perfect time to glitch right there. They had me, they had me in two different directions there, so that was why I love the glitch ability. The glitch ability basically saves your life. But yeah, the Weevil has good accuracy, good fire rate, and the best magazine, and a beautiful, uh, beautiful iron sight. <laughs> Uh, me and my friend have a joke about that when I say that. Um, we always joke about the beautiful iron sight. Uh, but yeah, it's got the, basically the same uh, iron sight as the PDW from Black Ops 2. Um, this gun probably has... Uh, actually, I can't... Don't quote me on this, but it probably has a higher fire rate than the PDW. Uh, from Black Ops 2, but... Yeah, this gun, this gun's beautiful. It lets you, uh, lets you free up your attachments to run something aggressive like stock and extended mags, like... A lot of people think that extended mags is probably useless on the Weevil because what's what's 20 more bullets when you already have 50? Well, you're basically having an LMG clip in your submachine gun running around, so I don't see I don't see any problem in that. And then uh, I don't run laser sight, even though that's a good attachment because uh, that kind of gets you to hip fire more. But when you're running stock, you want to be aiming down sight more, right? So 
I mean, that's a good combination, but I think that the combination I got right here with the extended mags and stock is, uh, is unbelievable. So right there, you can see I go 53-0, and 0, and I'm pretty proud about that. So thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Spinning out.